this is exciting. We're getting some rock delivered today. Uh, had a pretty good freeze. It's 30 something degrees outside right now. Um, I'm hoping that uh, there's gonna be enough space for him to get over here. Look at how I'm living. <laughs> I get to run equipment. We're getting some rock delivered today. Uh, had a pretty good freeze. It's 30 something degrees outside right now. Um, I'm hoping that uh, there's going to be enough space for him to get over here. But well, right here, we got to back all the way in to get to over here. I'm glad it's frozen right now because they're going to get back farther and the ground is not going to sink as much. Hopefully. At least that's the plan. <laughs> we'll see. But uh, yeah. I got this finished last night. I cleaned it up, drug some more chert back this way. That way they'd have a longer path to get further down so I can get the rock farther back that way. Otherwise, there was a little bit of room for him to get just right to the edge, right in here where I'm standing is where the other chert stopped and all the mud was. I slushed all the other mud back down the hill. And I'm gonna get in there right now before they get here and kind of push some of this down as well. I'm in the excavator. I'm getting ready to get over here and start pushing this down a little bit. I'm probably gonna have to push the first load out so the second load can come in. We'll see, I don't know if it's staggered or how they're gonna deliver today. Last time they showed up three trucks and then two trucks and then a third one followed later on. So we'll see how that works out, but we're gonna get this stuff rocking and rolling, right? minutes or so from where he's bringing the rock um, so I got a little bit of time so I'm gonna sit here and basically just wait hopefully he'll be okay with the way uh, we're gonna sit here get this out of his way so we can get enough swing that he possibly can to get over here if I have to move some of this stuff I will but he should be able to back pretty much straight in I guess supposedly maybe I don't know we'll see but I'm not going to be able to work on this until later this afternoon when I get off of work. I just ran out here for a few minutes to uh, make sure that I can get it offloaded. And where I want it dropped at, that way I can push it and get my road all the way set to go where we want to be. Which is all the way back up there. Zoom, all the way up there. Hopefully we can get this in before the rain tomorrow, or Sunday. I got tomorrow and today to finish this up and then hopefully dig a little bit back on the, the home site. Otherwise, I'm without equipment. And it's here, first load.
first loads on the ground apparently he's gonna have to go get some more I'm gonna go ahead and get this all pushed down spread that way I can get him to dump further down that he's willing to go so I'm gonna take some time right now and get her done Mr. Mr. can you stop for me I ain't got much besides this guitar Back a ways you'd find what else I want In the trunk of that damn old car Don't know what blue but it's smoking like hell And man it sure don't sound good It made it clear it ain't going no further With this fury beneath the hood It dragged my bones all the way to California But it sure ain't Taking me home So if you've got a spare seat And you're headed east Mister, that's where I'm going I'm aiming for a holler In the hills of Appalachia No sir, you wouldn't know the name It's prettier than heaven And where I'm at the world But it ain't got no other claims to fame
First load is down on the ground. That spread pretty good, I guess. Probably, I'm gonna say about a hundred foot or so. I don't know how deep it is. Um, I was shooting for three to four inches. We'll see how the compaction, because this stuff compacts pretty good and it holds solid. I've got two more loads coming, which means I'm gonna make it up and around the bend over there. So I'm gonna end up having to more than likely go do some tree work up there and get those trees worked out of the way. That's later this afternoon though. I've got to get back to work now. So no, it's crazy, but here's my hand. Oh, will you take it? Can I be your man? Oh 
covered in gasoline, maybe I'm through. We're bridging the gap. We're bridging the gap. We're gonna make it up this hill so I can go that way. Excited I got this chert because this stuff, it's bad right here. All the water drains off down this way, so it's nice and mushy. So hopefully I can get this taken care of right now. Get a few more trees knocked down along the way. That way I can make it to the home site. At least I can get over there and start digging. It's supposed to rain all next week. Go figure, I got a week left of excavator use and not a week worth of time. <laughs> Catch you in a little bit. I've started, you can hear the excavator run in the background. So I just started after I dug this test hole behind me. Over there. I am now starting the garage for the sunken basement, huh, garage, lower level basement garage. We'll call it that, we're gonna put a room in it. See if I can't get you guys in the actual light. Probably can't see anything behind me. I'll turn the camera around in a second. Starting at night, I've got basically today, 
and all next week's rains. So got to get this done, or at least as much as I possibly can. That way, I'll have to rent an excavator again to come out here and do this. This was originally the plan, but it took longer and more rain days this this time around. So I didn't have as much activity on the actual excavator. So here's the home site. I showed it to you guys earlier. Check a look. So we're moving all this rock, cutting it all out. Right up there's where I already did the test hole to see if I can move anything up there, which I should be able to. I've got to move all this rock right here. So it's a project for tomorrow. We'll see if we can't <laughs> break the excavator.